Hello YouTubes and welcome back to Tully's Marine Tales. It has been a while since I last posted a video on here and I do apologize about that but life has been a bit hectic. Um, however it is an absolutely gorgeous autumn day here in Pettenberg Bay, the small coastal town in South Africa where I live. I'm hanging out in my garden, I'm busy getting my fieldwork stuff ready because this afternoon I'm going into the field which I'm such a keen bean for. So I thought I would take this opportunity to give you an update about what has been happening with my research. I think uh, in Jan last year I released a video um, about what was happening with my postdoc and my research at that time but it was still very much limited by COVID. Luckily since then things have started opening up so I have been able to start my fieldwork and I've been running my fieldwork project for about a year now so I really just like to talk to you guys about that show you what it's like so you can get a better understanding of how marine biologists conduct fieldwork conduct a research project I'll chat a lot about stingrays um, because my project is on stingrays so we'll talk about how we study stingrays in a shallow water ecosystem so yeah I hope you guys find this video interesting and without further ado let's get into it So I suppose first a bit of background, um, so I moved to Plett a while ago and as I said it's a small coastal town, you know it's one of those towns where everybody kind of knows everything and chats to everybody so I've actually really been enjoying this little town vibe because most of my life I've grown up in the city anyway, a bit of a digression. Um, so when I first moved here, obviously I told everybody that I researched stingrays and I'm a bit of a like have a mild obsession about stingrays and so I kept hearing these like reports and people would say to me oh have you seen the stingrays in the estuary have you seen the stingrays in the estuary because there's this really beautiful estuary here in Plett so where the ocean meets the river there's a mouth um, so it's kind of like a salty half salty half freshwater ecosystem um, and there hasn't really been any work done on stingrays in estuaries here in South Africa so we don't really understand how they utilize those ecosystems so people kept saying to me have you seen the stingrays in the estuary and I was like no I definitely want to learn more about this so we started up a project um, which is sampling the estuary to see if there were stingrays around and if there were what species were there how often were they were they kind of just there every now and then were they there all the time you know what areas of the estuary did they use so we set up a, a project called a bravs project now bravs is essentially the equipment that we use to sample the to sample an ecosystem so you know traditionally when marine biologists wanted to figure out what lived in an area obviously you can't just like peer down over the side of the boat and see what lives there because most of the time you can't see into the ocean unless you live in a very beautifully clear place so a lot of time marine biologists would go dive or snorkel so that they could like see what lived in the area but that's obviously very invasive and for species that are most species um, which are sort of nervous of divers you know you're not going to see them and you're not going to be able to reliably sample what lives in the area so more of a recent technology is this thing called a BRUVS which stands for a basic remote underwater video system and I actually have him next to me here if you guys will see him so this is the BRUVS essentially it's like a weighted rig so we have a weight there in the middle and um, we deploy this in the ocean and on one end it's going to have a GoPro and on the other end it's going to have a bait bag so the bait essentially attracts whatever is in the area the GoPro records it and it's a really nice non-invasive way to sample an ecosystem to figure out what lives there so we started this BRUVS project in I think it was April last year we selected three sites in the estuary and we plopped this in we let it settle on the bottom of the estuary floor and we let it record for an hour and we see what's there so this project has been super successful and all my expectations have been blown out of the water and the results we've been getting are just incredible so when I what I thought might be okay we'd see a stingray every now and then turned into us basically seeing stingrays all the time they seem to be here well at least one of the species that we've encountered is here year round we've seen them every month over the past 12 months which has just been really incredible and because that has been so successful uh, we've started like developing other elements of the project so you know not only do we sample them using the bruvs um, using the bruvs rig uh, we also sight for them from the boat so because this is a very 
beautiful shallow ecosystem that you can see through the water into we can spot the stingrays from the boat so while we're traveling to go deploy our brav we'll also like look for stingrays on the side and record um, when and where they are and we've started a little bit of a drone project I've been successful in getting some funding to get a drone so we've also been flying um, the drone and getting some amazing drone footage of just their behavior and their feeding oh excuse me there's my bunny in the background um their behavior and their feeding and uh, and which sort of like micro habitats they like to use because they do sort of go up onto these really really shallow sand flats where we can't deploy the bruv because it's too shallow we can't get the boat there because it's too shallow so really the only way we can see them in in this area where they spend actually what seems to be most of their time is is using the drone and then finally we've also started probably my favorite part of the project is a snorkeling part of the project which has been super cool so they're really quite chilled so if you stay at the surface of the water they down below about two meters below you you can just snorkel behind them for 20 to 30 minutes and they don't care that you're there so you snorkel behind the stingray you check what he's doing we're recording behavior and it's really just quite a quite a magical part of the project I've really been enjoying that so yeah this past summer has just been full on because they do seem to be here like a lot more in summer there was a lot more them over the past couple of months <laughs> we've just been a little bit stingray obsessed like i'll go supping on the weekend looking for the stingrays we'll be snorkeling with them like i just i'm just have spent all my time at the estuary and i've just been yeah mildly obsessed anyway it's slowly starting to calm down now we're coming into autumn we're coming into like the cooler season so there's less of them so yeah i mean we're still we're still sampling every week and we're still looking for them but it has not as intensive as it has been for the past couple of months so yeah i'm just been i'm super grateful for how this project has turned out um, and yeah just goes to show that you know like as a scientist we always think we have the knowledge but just listening to the people who live in the area and and who know the area and then actually starting your project using that local knowledge has been super successful and my project has been successful we're getting some incredible data on a critically endangered species which hopefully we can use in some conservation efforts and um yeah it's just it's just been a it's turned into like a really really cool little project and we've got another year to go another year of sampling and then i'll be finished with my postdoc i'll write up all the data and yeah as i said hopefully there'll actually be some some conservation benefits from the work so now it's time for me to get ready for the field get all my little bits and bobs together and uh, we're gonna get on the boat and we're gonna deploy our bruv today we're heading two of our sites but um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say for today's video. I think it might be a short one, but that's okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will definitely try and be a bit more consistent with uploading videos going into winter now. So hopefully see you soon. Have a great day.